but I forgot I had this up, but I have this little like panda thing. And I'd say it's kind of festive, you know, it has the orange on it, like the red. So, and plus I love pandas. Thumbs up the video if you love pandas. So hello guys, welcome back. I don't know what that was, but welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be making a very festive craft. And it's going to be a candy corn garland. And this is really easy. I thought it was pretty easy. And I thought it was really cute. And I said festive. Since Halloween is coming, if you want some Halloween in your room. So let's get started with this video. So to start off, you'll need some colored paper. You'll need the colors of orange, yellow, and white. You'll need scissors to cut the paper. You'll need a pencils to trace on the design. Some type of hole puncher. I just use this leaf one that I got at Michael's. Since it is fall, leaves are, you know, the thing. You'll need a glue stick and some yarn or string. You will also need this template, and this template will be down in the description box down below. But there are just a triangle and two trapezoids. So this might not happen every time, but if you click the link, sometimes it won't show up. But you just want to click the word zoom. You can double click or right click and then click the word print. And now I want to just cut this template out. And these are how big mine were. And you can pretty much actually change the size if you want. You can just go to like PicMonkey or any editing software and just change the size. But mine turned out to be a pretty decent size. So I finished cutting mine and I pretty much just laid them out so you guys can see each of them. And now I'm just laying one on top of each other because that is the layout of the candy corn. You now just want to trace each of the templates onto the regular paper. So you want the triangle to be on the white piece of paper. You want the smaller trapezoid to be on the orange piece of paper and the bigger one to be on the yellow piece of paper. For each, I pretty much just cut out four of them, as you can see, four white, four yellow, and four orange. So you now want to just start gluing each one on. You first want to apply glue on the yellow one because you want to glue the yellow one onto the white one. You want to place the yellow one on the bottom of the triangle to act as the yellow part of the candy corn. And you want to then grab the orange one and do the same thing except you want to put it also on the bottom and that will act as the yellow part of the candy corn as you can see I'm putting it on the bottom right now and you want to place it as good as you can this is the final result this is how it should look like and I then just trim the edges because for some of them I cut them a tad bit bigger and for some of them I cut them a little bit smaller so I just trim the edges to make it look a lot neater Next, you want to just hole punch the candy corn. As you can see, I'm using my leaf one. You want to just punch it in the bottom. I am now just showing you guys, like, I guess a close-up of how the leaves look like. As you can see, it's really pretty. And these are pretty much just the ones I did. As you can see, the punches are on the bottom. But you now just want to attach a string through the hole. Since it is a garland, it will be hung from somewhere. So this is the final product. I love it and it is so festive and I just hung mine on my window. So I hope you guys liked that video and thought it was helpful and you know helped your room get into like that Halloween fall spirit. So please subscribe to help me reach the goal of 100 subscribers and also give this video a like and comment down below if you have anything else you want me to make. Like it doesn't have to be like fall related. It could be like when summer comes or spring comes or winter. So please just leave a comment down below. Bye guys.